In this video, we will have a look on how you can deploy an ASP.NET website on IIS using Advanced Installer. The first thing to do is to publish your website. So, in Visual Studio, right click your solution, click on Publish and select the desired location where all the site contents will be saved. After the website is published, create a new Advanced Installer project. It is a good practice to save your project right from the beginning. In the Files and Folders page, you can add the website resources. I will create a new folder called Website Contents and I will synchronize this folder with the content of the directory where the website has been deployed. Once the synchronization operation is complete, go to the IIS view and create the website. Next, we need to create the application pool for the website. When doing this, make sure to target the correct .NET Framework CLR version, which in our case is 4.0. Now, let's configure some more options for the website. The first one is to enable the preloading of the website. Next, use the previously created pool, target the ASP.NET version, and we also need to add the default ASFX document in the default document tab of the website. And we are done with the configurations for the website. Next, let's navigate to the prerequisites page and add the .NET Framework version that the website requires as a prerequisite. We also need to create a Windows Feature Bundle to enable IIS on the target machine. When we do this, an additional IIS launch condition for Internet Explorer is added, but this condition isn't necessary because we are installing the IIS Features Bundle, so disable it. I also want, after the installation is finished, to open the URL for the website, so navigate to the Custom Actions page. In here, search for the Open URL Custom Action and add it to the list, but make sure to drag it at the end of the execution. The only thing we need to modify here is the URL, which in our case is localhost. With everything done, build the project and start the installation. As you can see, our ASP.NET website is installed. Everything is configured and works.